Look, here's a pretty foxglove. What is it? Digitalis. Digitalis papuria. Some cultivar, some named variety. It's a named variety. Now this plant is the, 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 the herb from which they got originally Digitalis. This is Digitalis purpurea, purpurea. And that's where you get uh, digoxin. That's what the, they get the heart drug digoxin from Digitalis purpurea. There's another one called Lenoxin, which is from Digitalis lenata, I think. It's slightly different. They're another type of uh, foxglove. So there's two types of foxglove that are used in medicine at least. Digitalis purpurea and Digitalis lenata. This is purpurea, some cultivar. It's a pretty little thing with bells on it, isn't it? Was it Van Gogh who, when he used to paint his, uh, say, almond blossoms, he saw a yellow haze over everything? I think I read on the internet once that the yellow haze he saw, in which you can see in his paintings of almond blossom, are due to uh, uh, Digitalis digoxin affecting his vision. I don't know if that's true. I like uh, foxgloves, I think they're wonderful. They're in that film, that children's film from the BBC, The Borrowers, beautiful pink and red foxgloves while the borrowers are running around. Let's have a close up at the flowers. Looking at the pretty Digitalis purpurea flowers now. This camera is still misbehaving. I find if I rattle it before I use it, if I shake it like a baby's rattle for a while, it sometimes deigns to work. I daren't uh, try and focus it though by using the manual focus thing. Well, not much. Pretty Digitalis purpurea. Or purpurea. I love them. I had a book when I was a child. What was it called? The Mystery of Tinker's Green and Other Stories? Or was it called Rachel's Wireless Set and Other Stories? Anyway, it was written in the late 20s, early 30s. And it was quite uh, quite modern for its time. It was about, in Rachel's wireless set, this girl went into her garden and there was a spider web and it was just shaped like a wireless receiver. And the wireless, it worked with some sort of way of talking to fairies through the spider web. And I remember the spider web was attached to, in the drawings, the spider webs were attached to things like uh, these uh, fox gloves. I've got other foxgloves yet to bloom. Why am I bothering with foxgloves in the heat like this? I, would do, I do do ridiculous things. Oops, there it goes. Come back into focus, please. I do do ridiculous things like grow foxgloves in heat like this. Years ago I used to grow tamarillos in the heat like this. They used to be wilted in terrible heat and drought. There. There's a look inside a foxglove flower. Look at the hairs. Look at the hairs. In its mouth. I can't remember exactly what snapdragons look like. Is it related to snapdragons at all? Why is it called a foxglove? Does it look like a fox's glove? I suppose it does up the top. The unopened flowers do look a little bit like a hand. I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes as usual. So here's a look at the leaves. Here's a look at the leaves of Digitalis. An important heart drug was extracted from this herb. You're not going to focus for me today, are you? You dreadful thing. You dreadful temperamental thing.
So I've got to buy a new camera. I haven't bought one yet. I was going to, but haven't made up my mind yet. Also, there's a possibility of putting a new uh, tiny motor in for the uh, focusing device on this. If we could be bothered hunting around for one or buying a, a second-hand part or something to replace it. Let's see how we can focus. That's not bad. I'll lift the tripod. There we are. Starting to wilt slightly in the heat. That's not bad. I prefer this sort of photography sideways, but it means turning a laptop sideways if you're viewing it on a laptop, doesn't it? Anyway, somebody who's interested in digitalis might like to watch this film. That's the underside of the leaf. My sentiments exactly. Look at that. There are the leaves. So it's poison. You wouldn't want your children eating this, would you? You wouldn't. Hasn't been eaten by any, any insects so far. Spiky plants are important in a cottage garden. Spiky plants like snapdragons, delphiniums, foxgloves, verbascum. Verbascum are good, aren't they? And uh, hollyhocks, all those things. You need spikes in a garden. A few tall sunflowers are nice too. Delphiniums are nice. They are. Focus, you silly thing. That bird's the mistletoe bird. Side view of a flower, look. This camera can pick up my tum tummy rumbling. So what happens in Hollywood movies? Everyone wears microphones on their person now in TV shows, don't they? See you then.